Well, we've made it through to October. Here we are in Lakewood Ranch, Florida, and today I'm going to give you a market update of what's been happening in our area all the way up through the end of September 2022. So if that's of interest, stick around. I have all the details coming right up. Don't buy real estate if you experience allergic reactions to happiness, satisfaction, pride, fulfillment, contentment. Stop buying real estate if you don't like community, a sense of belonging, a diversified portfolio. Buying real estate may cause you to shop at hardware stores, furniture stores, and design centers. See your realtor immediately if you experience any of these symptoms. Hello, it's Mark Famig, Michael Saunders and Company, and in this channel, Living in Lakewood Ranch, we cover all the areas around Lakewood Ranch, from Bradenton to Sarasota, and from Anna Maria Island down to Siesta Key. So if you get value out of these videos, just click that little subscribe button, ding the little bell every time I put on a new video, you'll be notified. Well, today I decided to come out on site to a new community that's coming up, um, and this is on Bourne side, and I'm going to be bringing that video to you in the next week or so, but it's only going to have eight homes. It'll be a gated community, and I'm going to have more details for you on that next week. But what I wanted to cover today is what's happening in the Lakewood Ranch market. So what I want to do is I want to be concise and succinct on about five topics of what makes up the market report for the Lakewood Ranch area. So how many homes do we actually have for sale on the market? This is going to be for zip codes 34202 and 34211, which comprises most of Lakewood Ranch. And at the end of September, we had a total of 535 homes on the market. In August, we had 564, and then in September of last year, going back one year, we only had 106. So our increase from 106 to 535 is a pretty significant increase. That's 404%. Now what about the number of homes sold? Well, in September, in those two zip codes, we sold 120 homes. That's down from August's number of 185 homes, and also from September of 2021, we had 186 homes that actually sold during that uh, time frame. Pending, or what we call pending sales, are under contract. We had 116 homes go pending in September. We had 165 in August and we had 140 in September of last year. So that's, that's down about 17% as far as the number of homes that went pending. The biggest question I get asked is are we in a bubble and are prices going down? Well, we're not really seeing that yet. The average sale price in September for those two zip codes was $325 a square foot. Now, in August, it was $334 a square foot. That's down about 2.7%. But in September of 2021, they were $280 a square foot, and that's an increase of 16.1%. What about the time on market? Well, it took 26 days to sell a home here in September. In August, it took 21 days, and in September of last year, it took 13 days. So we've had a 100% increase going from 13 days to 26 days uh, that a house goes on the market until it's under contract. And what about the list price to the sell price ratio? So when they list it, how close is it when they sell it? So in September, that number was 95%. In August, it was 94%, and then in September of 2021, it was 99%. And then what about month's supply of inventory? And this tells us, you know, if we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market or if we're a balanced market. So in September, we had 4.5 months supply of inventory. In August, we had three months. And then in September of 2021, we only had 0.6 months supply of inventory. So our inventory has grown 684% from last year to this year, going from a 0.6 tenths months of inventory up to four and a half months of inventory. So uh, some of you might be asking, well, what about Hurricane Ian? Is that gonna have an impact on our area? And I don't think that it really is. And I'm gonna show you this chart right here. These are the last four major storms, no matter where they hit in the United States and the impact that they had on pricing for their areas during the next year and then two years. And as you can see from this chart, prices on all but one occasion were up. So I hope you get value out of this video and this quick market report. I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you'd like to see the full report and get the numbers for yourself, I'd be happy to share that with you. This is Mark Bamig, Michael Saunders and Company.